Bridge is Adobe's file browser, and it's a way to visually look through the files on your computer, very similar to your Windows Explorer, your Finder Windows, but in more of an Adobe world, especially as a photographer using Lightroom and Photoshop, um, it's a way to visually look at photos. Now, I know there's a lot of Lightroom users that don't use anything but Lightroom, that's fine. People like me have a little bit of a hybrid approach. Some people use Bridge entirely for their photo management system. I want to let you know that this week we actually got a couple of updates for Bridge, and for somebody that uses it a lot, they're two small updates, but they can make a big difference. Let's go ahead and take a look. Your first one's gonna be pretty simple, and that is under the file menu, we can now create a new window. We can have multiple bridge windows open at once. And you think, well, why would I wanna do that? Well, if you're the type of person that when you're organizing things on your computer, and you've got multiple Finder or on a PC, it'd be Windows Explorer. You've got multiple Finder and Explorer windows open, which I do all the time. I've, I've generally got like four or five of them open at any one given time. It's an easier way to visually take things and move them around and drag and drop and back and forth and even view multiple folders at the same time by having different windows open here, okay? So if you're the kind of person that likes to do that, and you were somebody that did organization in Bridge, again, remember, it's not really for a Lightroom user, you've, you've got your own tools. These are for people that use Bridge. You've, you've never had a way to do this. You've just had the main interface. So if you wanted to copy and move photos back and forth, again, you could copy them. There you go under the edit menu, you can copy and paste and move things, but it was always a little bit more difficult, a little bit less visual. Now you can go to the file menu, you can choose new window, it's gonna open up a secondary window here for you. You can position these anywhere, anyhow, any size on the screen. And that way it's a lot easier for you to start either looking at multiple folders at the same time or moving things around between different folders. Speaking of workflow, I promise I'll keep this quick. I have a bridge workflow mini course. It's just an hour long, very, very inexpensive because I don't want to make it difficult. It's, it's the allure of it is that it's so simple, but I did put this mini course together because I get a lot of questions on where bridge fits in. Want to make sure you know what all the buttons and dials and different views do. And then I cap it off with a full workflow video so you can see for certain photo shoots, how exactly I would come back edit those photos, look at those photos, mark them, do some quick edits to them uh, inside a camera raw and be done with that photo shoot rather than have gone through a full import process with Lightroom. Hope you'll swing by to find out a little bit more. All right, so um, back to the tutorial where I had said, you'll find our second feature, our second new feature under the edit menu, and that is customizable keyboard shortcuts. So this is something that bridge users have wanted for a long time. Now you got it. Now you can come in here, you can customize your keyboard shortcuts, whatever works for you. There's a lot of different things. Some people use Bridge for organization. Some people use Bridge to um, you know, copy, rate, move, whatever that comes to happens to be for your photos. Now you can come up here and go through all of the keyboard shortcuts, modify them, change them to whatever you need. As I mentioned earlier, it's not a huge earth shattering changes, but to somebody that uses Bridge, they're actually two important features that I think people have been wanting for a while. Also, I did a video a while back on a Bridge Lightroom workflow or in a way where you can use both of them together if you're somebody that does that. Uh, that'd be a great video to go to next if you're somebody that does use Bridge and wants to learn a little bit more.